it's hard to stay. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> Damn. Little glimmers of truth in the fucking babble. You weren't you weren't moved by that hot block? Oh, I was <laughs> I was moved in a way for sure. I'm still crying. <laughs> Same way like a bowel movement feels. Like Ooh. is it is it funny that or bad that I like cry laughing watching these videos on my <laughs> own sometimes? So how fucking deep, stupid man. it is. So <laughs> uh, you and the right. I have to spend many seconds pondering the deepness and the, you know, all the questions that are raised by this talk. Yeah, man. Um. It just it was so funny because I'm like I recognize so much of that from the New Orleans, you know. Yeah, like oh that yeah. Fucking everywhere. Everywhere. Mobile's the same way. Like the seven sun men on the porch and shit at fucking like eleven thirty. Hey, yeah. Hey, have you heard of the uh, freestyle rapper by the name of Harry Mack? <laughs> Harry Mack. <laughs> oh man, I heard of him, man. Nah, hell hey. no. Nah. Hey, if you want that guy, you wouldn't like when I watched him. I didn't think somebody could do that, but he's a white white boy, and um, he went on TNT, uh, NBA on TNT, something like that. They asked him to come on, and he freestyles for them. What he does is he goes up to random people and says, "Give me like seven random words, and I'll create a rap for you." And, uh, man, it's unbelievable. You wouldn't believe it if I told you like this. You just have to see it to believe it, what he can do. So right, I'm going to check him out. I'm going to check him out. Um, salute to um, Aston J, man. He says, I had to take a night off. Mental break. <laughs> Watching and listening to these sons is fucking depressing. <laughs> it is. Each of those is 14 grand a year that you sent to school. Uh, for taxes, you know, like that guy, each of those people represent like hundreds of thousands of dollars of tax money wasted. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt, it'll all be across the board. Uh, you know, you're talking about welfare, you're talking about rec centers, you're talking about um, diversionary programs, you're talking about prison, you're talking about probation and parole or services. You're talking about uh, all types of shit. When they use the hospital, the ambulance, and then don't pay the bill, all mm. that shit, man. Um, e EMT, surgeons, COs. Trauma uh, units. Trauma unit officers. Vice um, squads. Yeah, all uh, that. Anti-funeral gun crime task forces. Right. That's, That's a big one. Um, we, we got a big story here. In Australia, man, we, we we the only channel that covers Australia on the regular, man. Give it up, man. Press one, man. Ah, uh, because this going to be a kangaroo attack. Hit that like. Uh, hit that like. Come on, chat. Hit that like. Yeah, hit that like button, man. Um, Australia's having the issues down there. The similar issues to what we're having here. Um. An investigation is underway this morning after shocking vision emerged of a 14-year-old schoolgirl being bashed by a group of teens in Melbourne's West. We've decided to only show limited shots from the video due to how distressing it actually is. It shows the victim being dragged to the ground by her hair and repeatedly punched in the head. More than 40 punches were thrown all up. She was hospitalised with head and facial injuries. And if yeah, they, they. I'm glad they didn't show it because maybe I can do a video about this. Um, mm. I can clip this. They. It's online, man. Somebody, if somebody got this on on Twitter, put it in the chat so people can see the sheer brutality and the barbarity of the actual attack, without me having to show it. I mean, it was a barbarous attack, man. Um. On an, on an autistic girl just because she was different. Um, so I'm so oh. take that. Damn, poor girl. She's already autistic. She's already going through it. Now they get that. 
everything. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a brutal. It was, it was brutal, man. It was bad, man. Um, by her hair and repeatedly punched in the head. More than forty punches were thrown all up. She was hospitalised with head and facial injuries, and her family say she's too afraid to return to school. Police believe the fourteen-year-old knew her attackers. Let's bring in adolescent psychologist Deirdre Brandner now. Good morning to you. This happened in broad. Oh, so she's going to try to psychologize this shit. Look, why does her face look like that? Why does she look like um Saul, man? She looks like the Saul, man. Damn. Right. <laughs> they didn't have a neurologist no. available. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you probably get a more accurate. Even Jane Goodall couldn't audience. be contacted. Right, Jacques Cousteau. Yeah. Exactly, man. Because she, what she's about to tell us about glider, what she's learned studying gliders, <laughs> not applicable. Not at all. All right, I'm going to say she says something about the stress of the pandemic. Oh Lord! Psychologist oh. Deirdre Brandner. Now, good morning to you. This happened in broad daylight in a very busy area. You say this type of behaviour is on the rise. Why? It is on because the you've imported hundred thousand Sudanese, you fucking morons. Tell them, Mark. Right. Tell them why it is on the rise, and which is very disturbing in itself. And we know that it's partly perpetuated by the role of social media, and that the um, attackers are looking for notoriety, for some status online, and almost a, a localized version of celebrity culture that these incidents give them. Hang on, so they're not worried about being caught. They're actually wanting to be in public and then put it online. Absolutely. In that moment, um, of course, the impulsivity of the adolescent brain, but, you know, worrying about being caught, these attacks occurred in broad daylight. These attacks are motivated and filmed to keep that, um, that status online so that the content continues to get clicks and, um, and, and, and they become, you know, Insta um, famous for all the very wrong reasons. In back in our day, there were fights in playgrounds. Is this different? Is it worse? It is much worse now because those. Because um, um, back in your day, it was fucking gliders fighting. Now it's these new Sudanese immigrants doing it, right. attacking y'all. It was Greece and Olivia Newton-John. It wasn't this. It wasn't blood right. diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> These people are like the 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 fact that it's almost as if she's trolling, like the the reporters trolling. Yeah, she can't be serious. Our no day, there care. were fights in playgrounds. Is this different? Is it worse? It is much worse now because those um, violent attacks um, are staying online for longer. We know that more children and teens are witnessing these attacks and that image is staying with them for longer and, and it has a disturbing effect on children's development. Mm. So that is disturbing in itself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But so that smile is time. creepy. Fucking weirdos. For real. Yikes. For real. But yeah, Australia's getting fucked up right now about some man, Sudan. They didn't learn from uh, Europe. They didn't learn from uh, Europe. The same, people, the same people that run Australia run Europe and America. Yeah, there are Australian Jews over there. That well, are Melbourne family has yeah. endured a real life. No, nah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, it, it is it, it, world news, man. I, I try to stay on, on the mainland, but you know. We're feeling frisky tonight. We're gonna to do some world news. Australia, down under. Well, a Melbourne family has endured a real life nightmare. This is the moment three masked intruders, armed with a gun and machetes, break into their home in the early hours of Sunday morning. It is just terrifying. Gurinda Singh, his wife, Harpreet, his mother and two children join us now live in Calcalo in Melbourne's north. Thank you so much for joining us after what was a harrowing weekend for you, Gurinda. Like, I get it that they're victims, but what the fuck are these people doing in Australia? 
Like, I think there's still yo, a big Patel population in, in Australia. Y'all, yeah, y'all have fucked. Y'all have probably not like, home invading people. Yeah, but it, it gets to a point where, like, yo, know, you can't turn it around. I don't know if you can turn these. Maybe they can. I'm not from Australia. I'm, I'm not on the ground. Anybody from Australia? I'm pretty sure they're super woke.